Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Sean, also known as Sykes. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my actual first YouTube video that I'm actually recording and filming and editing and putting on this channel. Today we're going to talk about Streamlabs OBS and the settings and the layout that I use for Streamlabs. Streamlabs, if you don't know, is a software for streaming onto platforms such as Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, like OBS, but a more buffed up and has more like features and stuff that you can muck around with. And it also has things included if you have a membership such, such as themes where you can spruce up your Twitch overlays and it can give you panels and an alert all this cool little stuff also very handy than using the uh, twitch dashboard where you can actually set out your layout streamlabs and you can have it more convenient and suited for you today i'm actually going to go through these settings that i used prior to getting twitch affiliate and if you want to go check out my stream uh it is linked in the, the description or it's on the screen right now if you want to go check it out so we're going to go straight into it the first thing you're going to see when you open up streamlabs it's not actually going to look like this streamlabs is actually going to look like this this is when you first open it you sign in and this is what you get with you don't actually have what i have on my screen right now which is my theme and all these different scenes. If you go down to your bottom left of Streamlabs and you can see a layout editor. With the layout editor, you can set it up and they have different single, uh, different layouts for you to play with. I personally use the six boxed one. So this is how I have my stream laid out. Obviously on your right, if you click on the arrow here, it actually brings up your chat box. So you can have a live feed of your chat. My preview, which is on the top left. Below that, you have your sources on your scene that you currently have. I have my mini feed. Usually I like to to keep this performance thing really small so I can see what it's on on screen or you can right click if you want more performance and you don't have it such a beefy computer you can actually click on performance which actually disables it you can just re-enable it whenever you want the main screen that I have really big is my mini feed which shows my donations followers raids and subscribers and stuff like that next to it I actually have my scene selector which I won't play with right now because I'm currently recording through Streamlabs. What you can do is just set up different streams. At the bottom, I actually have my recordings, which is a webcam, but I'm actually using my phone right now to record. Just set different scenes for what you're doing. Below that, I have my quick actions, which you can actually get from your stream. It's just a website with a link to your dashboard, which is gives you the quick selections. You actually have the ability to edit your stream information, raid channels, run ads, clips it's easier actually to get clips if you want to clip uh parts of your stream yourself next we'll actually move over to the bottom left into settings so i haven't actually changed since i've become affiliate prior to becoming affiliate you can only have one source so you can only have either 720p or 1080p a lot of people are probably gonna want to watch in 720p since it uses a little bit less bandwidth and it's easier to run the stream without it stuttering so right now i actually have it set to my 720p and i actually have it set at 60 fps because i'm playing a lot of first person shooter games i have it to a 60 fps obviously first of all you want to to actually link in either your Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch. I'm using Twitch and we'll go down to the output mode and it's all grayed out right now because I'm actually recording. I usually just go into the advanced mode. I have a RTX 2060, which has the newest NVIDIA NVENC porting codec. So I use that. If you don't have NVENC from NVIDIA and you are running at AMD, I'm pretty sure there is an AMD codec, but I don't know how well it works. I actually have a 580 around that I could actually try and test out. So if you guys want to see that, I can do that for you. With rate control, there's going to be VBR, which is your variable bit rate, your CBR, which is your consistent bit rate. And I think there's another two that you use. I use consistent bit rate because it, it stays in the bit rate that you set. So for 720p 60 FPS, I run it 5000 bit rate. Now this depends on what your upload speed is. I get a 20 megabits per second upload speed, plenty of room to change my bit rate and still have good ping. So I set it at 5000 right now and that's probably the top part of 720p 60 fps which we'll get to later preset i've set to quality you can have performance you can have max performance this just depends on what kind of rig you have i will have put down in the description what computer i use and what specs i have mine isn't that beefy of a computer but it but it's enough to just stream real well we have my preset set to quality my profile set to main you can have it to high or anyone you sort of just got to play around with it and see what your computer can take. Obviously, if you have a beefier computer, you can you can have better quality streams. And if you have less beefier computer, you're gonna have to go try to get more performance. It also depends on your upload speed. If you have a 10 mega per second upload speed, you're probably wanting to go around the 5,000 kilobits per second 
or 5000 bitrate. I wouldn't be going any higher depending on how much leeway you want with your upload speed. I'll actually have it linked down in the description to a website that shows the range for um, yeah, bitrate different settings. So 720p 60fps, 720p 30fps, 1080p. But if you're not affiliate and you can't actually change the stream quality when people are pre like watching your streams they probably won't want to sit around especially if they don't have good internet buffering the live stream if you're streaming at 1080p 60 fps and most people don't actually watch in full screen so they usually watch in a little preview with the chat bar next to it probably 720p or 900p is probably the best so with my recording my recording is actually a little bit different to my streaming because i want to record in a lot higher quality so right now i still use the nvidia nvank still use cbr not vbr and actually set the bitrate to about 9000 so this is for since i'm recording in 1080p and i want to record it at least 30 to 60 fps i have a high bitrate to match that everything else is just the same my presets set to performance and my profile is set to main i actually also have a psycho visual tuning which is also enabled on my streaming gpu set to zero and max b frame set to two for both now if you come down to video we'll run through it first so the base resolution is what your monitor is actually taking most monitors are 1080p the main monitor that i'm streaming on is a 1080p 144 hertz monitor so i have the base resolution to 1080p i've actually changed the output resolution to record this video but usually i'd actually have it down to 1280 by 720 which is 720p downscale filter you have an 8-bit sample a 16-bit sample and a 32-bit sample i usually go with the 16-bit sample it does also depend on your computer and how much you can handle with cpu power usually 16 samples is a sweet spot 32 that's more if you have a higher end cpu and if you have a lower end cpu i would recommend going eight samples but with these i'm not saying that you need to use these settings i will just recommend to trial and error these settings and see what looks the best and what your computer is actually capable of handling with the fps type i go with the common fps value of 59.94 hotkeys i just have hotkeys set for my mute and unmute there is a lot of hotkeys i would recommend using the search bar in the advanced setting i haven't really changed much in the advanced setting I actually have the stream delay turned off i don't know if it's already on by default or not process priority i have it set to normal usually when i play games Games that take CPU power such as Overwatch that I play I actually go into the task manager and actually put it on high priority and that's pretty much it for my streamline setting I'm gonna actually go down to my mixer now because I've actually have some filters that are on my microphone changes it a little bit and makes it more clearer and it actually sort of cuts out the background noises and my breathing and stuff like that when I'm not talking just play around with your decibels for your audio input and your microphone input to cater for your stream you don't want anything too loud in the yellow is the sweet spot that you want to be you don't want to be peeking at the red at all so I'm just going to go into filters so I use two different filters on my microphone I use a noise gate closes out the threshold so you it's not constantly picking up your microphone. It also has an open threshold, so it's not peaking too much and it's not going into the red and it sort of stops it from going into the red. So I just have this on to negative 32 and negative 28. I also have a compressor set on, which sort of just makes the microphone sound a little bit better. So that's set to 12 and negative 18. So that's pretty much it for what I use for Streamlabs OBS. I hope this video was helpful. I know I'm not the biggest streamer or anything. I thought this video would really help people who are trying to start on Twitch and needing a baseline on what their settings should be. If you guys have any questions, don't be shy to leave them in the comments or head over to my stream which is linked in the description where you can just ask questions in the chat i will try my best to help you guys out don't forget to like and subscribe and i hope to see you in the next video